This is the CAD file configuration. Okay. So extract active link. Four times a also. Okay. Take some time. Okay. So I'll open this here. Six hundred five zero. So this is the logical node they want to configure through. If I say six. GGIO, OPT GGIO 1. 1 means input, 2 means output. Okay. So OPT means opto. Uh, this goes means goes. So this all these two goes output only. GOS 4. All this is output. Okay. Uh, this OPT GGIO means all this 1, right? So OPT means uh, optic, uh, opto, opto input. Okay. So up to input, okay, up to input, up to GGIO 1, it's all 1, it's to this output, okay. So this internal signal generator, like this 51p distance, uh, line differential, all this is internal generator operator. So this is this output too. Uh, suppose this 86, lockout and 74 supervision, all this is up to inputs. So this will be input, so 1, okay. So accordingly we need to configure the UD. Okay. So uh, this is one configured. So we need to just, uh, this is validation, this is the unlock. So we need to unlock, edit manual mode. So most of the things we can configure by unlock mode. So, you can give the IED name. The CAD file name they will ask. We need to put here. Okay. CAD file name. Uh, this version it will be common. Next it will be the IP address of the relay. It will put here. And this is the gateway. And we have two fiber, single or redundant fiber component on this RP port. It's uh, optional. This relay, as per I know, record it. Uh, the uh, fiber okay so failover is need to enable next this is SMDP so so external server one and two so we need to make so as per the SMDP IP we need to configure here okay okay 172.18.11.1 Okay. 
this is our main this brcb means buffer buffer report and the rcb means unbuffered so i give the name you can add new data sets also data set we can give the name was uh, brcb was 401 then add plus and you need to add the logical nodes as per the exception okay so here you take sister and you see here this is opt so this is the goose goose input this is the goose output if any control signal suppose breaker close opening all this will come goes input open. so we are not taking any control here Main thing here OPTD GUIO means up to input. So input 1, 2, 3, so indication 1 means input 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. You can add directly from here so it will come here. Or if you need only the status value, you just put it here. And this is the quality, this is the time. So better you give total. Whatever they want, they can take through the EC system. Okay. So what are the input you are using as per the IO list? Uh, as per the schematic, you need to mention here, okay? Uh, for suppose 86 you operated input 17, okay? So this one you need to verify through your schematic, okay? Then you will add here, you see the 17 I added here, okay? And uh, we just add here, so it will be created here, okay? And, uh, you need to make another one also for unbuffered. Unbuffered will be another data set because you know for buffer report you will take from only the BRCB only the buffered report data sets. Okay, so how you will take goose publishing not required, goose means peer to peer communication for this one, uh, which I am talking that goose different. Okay, so no need to mention. So next year reports. There is a reports. Yes, here. Reports. Okay. So the all user defined report already they mentioned unbuffered URCB and BRCB. Yeah. So normally as per the server, we need to give the report. We have here four server, the BSIS system. So I need to give them four. So, you see here, so for buffered report, I can fully configure, okay. I will just configure the 51, so on E, okay. Now, in other relays, you need to add here, okay, report, but here already, security default is there. So, this E, I just give them any name or give this one, the data set reference, this is the important, okay. If the buffered report, you need add that data set link which one we already made okay so that this is the recent buffer report we made on the brcb or uh, yeah, what are the name we can give no sure so brcb I just add okay then you just validate okay then so you need to just take this, this publication it's just to give an error because we don't know this one Okay, next you go. Yes, this is the fifth one, it's fully configured. This is enough. Then I don't want to close this one, I don't want to save this one because we already finished everything. So you just save it and exit. And that's it. Okay, then you go again. Go again here, and you can just send through here. Okay, send. Okay. Then they will ask this you need to validate, and you just make here my configuration active, and you send. It will be active. This is enough. Okay. Next up. They want to explain how to configure this GGIO2 indications. Okay, so OPT 
up to and root directly you can take indication 7 and 2 as per the schematic if it if you see later the ask you can need to check the schematic what is the vt failure input to the relay what uh, what is the input number so this is gi you can give the number okay also boost also through you boost also you can give then you need to configure through psl okay so i will show you this boost output to indication 5 how to configure through psl okay this one 51 p I will just go to this one. We can just open the VSL start. Okay, let's stop on VSL. We made us a great time. Yes, sir. Okay. So I told you the five OPT GGIO five. Okay. So it means GGIO two boost GGIO two indication five. So it means virtual output number five, which is the thing because two is virtual output. Two means all output. So indication five means virtual output five. So we just got yourself virtual output five. We just give a greater than one two. This means fifty to one two. Okay. Next, you see if I want to check the signal fail, the channel fail. Okay, suppose you want to give an alarm channel fail because this is uh, a differential relay channel fail one, channel fail two. That did not matter to here. So if channel fail, channel 2 fail, okay, channel 2 RX fail, RTX fail, time drop, signal lost. All this one you add to virtual output 11. So the VSA system will get the IEC node G -O -G -G -I -O 2 dot indication 11. Okay. Another one if you want, okay. Suppose you want to configure it is seven L. Okay, this is the sudden indication four. So you go PSL, virtual output four, differential trip or differential under trip. By or you only make me one. Okay? This is the method. Okay, what about the CB uh, differential failure, breaker failure in this session? All this one we went through like this one. Okay. So these are my videos. Please subscribe our channel. Okay. So,